<laughs> well, it looks like little Watson got into the Easter gifts just a bit early. No problem. I'm not one to waste raw materials. Today we're going to build a cloud lamp that gives the illusion of a cloud floating around in your room. You might have seen pictures of people making their own. It involves going to the store and buying cotton batting and a paper lantern. Well, I like using things I already have around the house. And I also don't care much for paper lanterns. So let's throw out their instructions and build one household hacker style. First, take an old pillow or stuffed item that's ready to be thrown out and let's give it some new life. Next, go to your recycling bin and grab some clear, empty plastic bottles. We had all kinds of them. Now get out a trusty glue gun and prepare to stick that cotton directly onto the bottle. If you don't have hot glue, standard glue will work, but you're gonna have to wait for it to dry in between layers. We decided to build three different size cloud lamps, starting with the smallest will take you through the process. First, you'll wanna apply some lines of hot glue directly onto the plastic bottle, just like this, laying down cotton as you go to form a barrier. Leave only the top opening clear, as we're now going to fill it up with old Christmas lights. We'll hide it later. Simply grab a color you like and stuff the string lights into the bottle. I suggest clear, blue, or purple to get a really interesting effect. After we had our two smaller clouds completed, we decided to up the ante with a five gallon water bottle. We started again by dropping an initial layer of glue and pressing our cotton onto the plastic. Try not to leave too much cotton on top as you're gonna need to add glue to each layer or everything will fall off later. As you apply glue and cotton, use the weight of the bottle to press down on the portions that are drying. Keep building this out until you get a first full layer. It's time to make it look more like a cloud. We'll do this by adding more layer and fluff to random parts of the bottle while filling in any gaps that we missed. Also, you wanna replace the areas that have fallen off while you work, and this is gonna happen a lot. We'll make all of this more secure and hold it in place in a minute. Now we need to find a way to hang it. With our large bottle, using the handle will be the best point of support. But with the smaller bottles, you'll need to poke a hole in the bottom and run string through the bottle and then pull it out the top. You can then tie the two ends around a hook or a dowel rod to hang it in place. We're hanging our cloud from a metal rack just for demonstration purposes so you can see what really goes into these things. Once it's hung up with fishing line, you have to put on all the finishing touches and secure the cotton. The best way to make sure the cotton stays now that it's all glued in place is to wrap the entire cloud bottle a few times with fishing line to secure all the threading. The fishing line won't be seen, but it will help keep all the extra fluffy pieces from falling off. Now that we've got our larger bottle hanging and secure, I'm gonna add a strand of color-changing Christmas lights in and fire it up for a test run. Add as few or many light bulbs as you want, and keep in mind that battery-powered ones will make it a lot easier to hide any cords you might have. With a few final tugs and pulls, we're ready to kill the lights and see what we've got. The result is amazing. Now keep in mind we added the other two cloud bottles to the left and right of the large one. This allows to better control the colors and give a more realistic effect. However, just adding a single bottle will really enable you to get a cool looking lamp as well. Some other ideas would be to use Tupperware containers or any clear shell you can find capable of holding glue and cotton balls on it. It's really that simple and the final product is a marvel to behold. If this is your first time checking out Household Hacker, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos. Here's a couple samples of our 400 plus right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Uh, and then we, we flow, we flow, we flow. Don't flow with me, you're not flowing with me.